welcome to the second unit of operating system if you have gone through the first unit you already know how the operating systems developed and that their primary purpose is to hide the complexities of the computer itself from the user to provide the user with an easy to use interface to interact with the machine but we also have to realize that this operating system has the primary purpose of enabling the user to use that hardware therefore the operating system is serving two purposes one is to allow the user the ease of use and two to interact with the hardware to allow the user to use that hardware to its full capability here the most important part is to understand the operating system's perspective one perspective which we will be covering in this unit is that the operating system needs to interact with all the subsystems of a machine to understand that first we need to understand how a modern computer system is organized we already know that there are various different components of a modern computer system there is the cpu there are input output devices there are other peripheral devices there is a ram there is hard disk and there are many other components we have to know how the operating system will interact with these devices and to understand that we have to uh, understand the architecture of this device in this unit that would be the first thing that we will do followed by the ways in which the operating system communicates within these components primary purpose of operating system while looking from the hardware perspective would be to allow interaction between different har hardware components whether is it is interaction between cpu and ram whether it is an interaction between ram and uh, hard disk whether it is an interaction between cpu and some peripheral device all of these can be clubbed under one heading that is communication there are of course various other devices there are of course various other functions that operating system has to perform and at on top of all of that the operating system has to allow the user to use these hardware components now of course we do not want the user to be uh, loaded by unnecessarily unnecessary hardware details so what we want is that the user should be able to interact with the computer without really going through the details of the hardware in this from this perspective we can say that the operating system primary job from the user side is to abstract these things out abstract the details of the hardware out how will the uh, operating system do that it does that by providing the user with easy to use function calls these functions can be very simple functions like open which would allow the user to open a file it could be seek to seek to some position in the file it could be many other such functions here i have just mentioned two function calls which can be used for accessing the file system of a of a computer system how that file system is organized how the uh, it is uh, how it is organized on the hard disk how it is organized in a virtual sense the user does not care about that all the user cares about is that the file should be accessed the content should be read it should be written deleted it should allow all functions that we regularly require of a file that is on the hard disk similarly you can have different other functions like communicating with a machine on the network for that you need to have some hardware link with that machine it could be a 
RF link like Bluetooth, it could be a wired link like LAN, it could be wireless link like wireless LAN. But the user should not be concerned about how these hardware details are implemented. All he is concerned about is that there is a machine and I need to access it or my program needs to access it. So, the user may not even call the function, he would just double click on a program which calls those functions and those functions are provided by the operating system which internally would process those function calls and based on the hardware implementation we will try to get the work done whether it is writing a file, whether it is communicating with another machine. Now, these function calls that the operating system provides are called system calls. They are different from regular function calls, because they usually have a hardware interaction pro, uh, phase involved. That is, they are the link between the user's program, the application layer and the machine's hardware, which is called the hardware layer. These system calls are a core part of the operating system and form the very basis of the ease of use that we come to expect of an operating system. We will see how these different system calls are categorized. Like I said, there are few system calls which are specifically for file system access. There would be some which would be specifically for uh, network communication. There would be some which would be specifically for some other function, say reading some sensor input or getting some data from the RAM or getting the status of various peripheral devices. We will try to categorize these system calls into various categories and we will also see how these system calls reflect on the structure of operating system. We already mentioned there are three layers. I just mentioned that there is an application layer, there is a system call layer and there is the hardware layer. The operating system basically operates on the system call layer and the application layer while interacting with the hardware. So, there the operating system usually has a layered architecture with each layer having its own function. There would be some functions which are not available to the user, which only operating system has, which works at a hardware level. There would be some functions which act as intermediary between the user and the hardware, which would be the system calls and some such. There would be other functions, which are, are only on top of the application layer, which gives user a good user interface, which provide user with important information, does primary task, which does not deal with hardware as such. We will see how operating system is organized uh, in these layers for the purpose of serving. We will see how the operating system is organized in layers for dealing with users, providing users with an easy to use interface as well as utilizing the hardware to its fullest potential.